since the car now charges and drives, I thought I'd take it out to one of the Tesla superchargers. The supercharger system is fantastic. You just back up and plug in. It's that easy. So let's take a look at my very first time supercharging. Plug in. Getting ready to charge, starting to charge. Oh fudge. Yeah, it wouldn't charge. So let's charge again. Pop open the charge port, plug it in, wait for it to recognize. We see a little animation on the color here. And then it turns red, red ring of death. And up on the dashboard, very briefly, a unable to charge error pops up and then goes away. So I went into the Tesla app and if I go all the way down to the bottom, hit specs and warranty, it shows all the features of the car and all the way at the bottom, free unlimited supercharging. It's listed right there. Then if I go up to uh, user information, charging, it also says free supercharging, lifetime, lifetime free supercharging. So maybe it was something else like uh, payment, managed payment. I had a credit card in there, but I, it was the old, it was the older version of the credit card. So I had to update the expiration date and make sure I had a billing address in there. And even after all this, the car still would not supercharge. So what else could I do? I did a hard reboot of the car. I tried other stalls at the supercharger location, and I tried a completely different supercharger location, including multiple stalls there. I also confirmed with the previous owner that he was able to supercharge. And lastly, keep in mind, this car is not a wreck. It's not an insurance buyout, just a used car. Even after trying all those things, I always got the exact same result. I'd plug in and the car would look like it was starting to charge, except then it wouldn't. Every single time. Red is dead. When I was home later, I had an idea, and that was just to clean the charge port very thoroughly. Um, I had some strong alcohol, and I used that with some cotton swabs and also a spray bottle to make sure I could clean out the inside of the charge port really, really well. I went through quite a few cotton swabs. It, in fact, was pretty darn dirty in there, and maybe that had something to do with affecting the supercharging. After swabbing it out, I also used some compressed air to dry it out, and maybe if there was any loose dirt, get some of that out as well. And then lastly, I had some dedicated electronics cleaner uh, right on the can. It said that it was appropriate for all sensitive electronics and it was also safe for plastic, so I didn't have to worry about the rest of the charge port here. It's also supposed to lubricate and help protect against uh, future corrosion. So maybe after doing all this, maybe the car would supercharge. Okay, this is absolutely for real. Um, this is now my uh, second attempt at charging at the supercharger. First time couldn't work at all. Now I cleared it with alcohol and everything else. Cross my fingers, hope it works. Okay, kind of a dark blue on the ring. Uh, it's flashing, I think that's a good thing. Nope, red, we got red. Turned red, darn it. So this is the third time that I'm trying to supercharge now. I'm hoping that third time is the charm. One thing that I- Now you have arrived at your destination. I don't remember seeing before is on the dashboard it says preconditioning battery for fast charging. I don't remember seeing that the uh, other times that I tried this. So maybe that's a good sign. I don't know, we'll find out here.
starts from flashing blue, red. Yeah, it's not charging. Yeah, charging will start momentarily. Sure it will. The only real clue that I had was going into service mode and looking at errors where I found charge, F012, HW fast charge driver, unable to charge, disconnect and retry. Um, this was essentially useless. I already tried disconnecting and retrying. It was getting me nowhere, but at least it was something to search for on Google. Um, really, all I could find about this was reference in one particular web forum that kind of went on for pages and pages. So I did dig through there. And one thing that I discovered is it turns out that in these cars, the AC charger actually controls the contactors that turn on the DC fast charging, the supercharging. And I talked to a friend of mine who used to work for Tesla, and he said they did have problems with the chargers. Uh, actually, like the circuit that would uh, recognize that you were supercharging instead of AC charging, that circuit would fail, and then it would not engage the contactors. So it looks like it's time to pull out the back seat and get a look at the charger. So I found out one of the issues with uh, supercharging may actually have to do with the regular charger uh, which is under the back seat so I removed the back seat threw it in the trunk and under the back seat we can see the charger there and oh no it's a mouse nest so somewhere under here there might be a wire that got chewed on rodent damage can absolutely wreak havoc in a car so i was uh, not excited about this i got the mouse nest cleaned out of there i also removed the cage or the support for the back seat and what that did was it let me examine all the wiring i didn't see any obvious mouse damage but who knows and it also allowed me to access the high voltage junction box right here that's where the mouse nest was but i did not see any obvious rodent damage on any of the wiring now over here this is a junction box i have the lid off of that and of course i followed all the proper procedures for killing the power testing it wearing the high voltage gloves the whole nine yards and inside the high voltage box here i mean it's pretty sealed up so i kind of wasn't really expecting to find any mouse damage in there or anything like that um but over here are the high voltage cables coming in from the charge port and since teslas only have one charge port the car has to decide whether that goes to either the battery charger or directly to the battery for the high voltage dc charging with the supercharger so the power comes in and then it actually uh divides up and it can go either over here to the charger or it can go through basically straight to the battery so you can see here for example is a junction but down here are some contactors so for whatever reason um the car is not engaging the contactor that connects to the battery pack and lets the supercharger connect so whether that's a issue with sensing the voltage in uh, the charger here or if it's maybe physically a bad contactor I don't know but I do know how to test contactors the wires that drive the contactors plug into the battery charger here and here I was able to unplug those and apply 12 volts from my bench power supply and carefully individually test both of the contactors and they both worked just fine now the process of elimination means the problem has to be the charger which sounds really weird because the car charges just fine from the wall but you have to keep in mind that it's actually the charger itself that drives the contactors that allow for supercharging and the air that we got is actually listed as fast charge driver on top of that looking through the web forums there's multiple confirmed cases 
of the same issue being fixed by replacing the charger. So it was off to eBay to look for a used charger. I found a used charger for about 130 bucks, including shipping, and placed it on order. Hopefully it'll show up soon. I'm pretty confident this will fix the supercharger problem, but we'll find out for sure in a future video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, stay charged up.